We surround ourselves so often with people that agree with us. Um, it's kind of a classic case of what we call in psychology is the false consensus effect, where we assume more people agree with us than actually do. We all live in bubbles and the online world is, world is actually amplifying these bubbles. We came up with the theme for this event, um, Bias and Beyond, because each of the four faculty speakers are going to offer um, a perspective based on their field and their scholarship, highlighting different aspects of bias that contributed to um, how we got here in terms of determining the election results and how we can respond. I see the teaching as a way of forming communities, forming new communities here about how can we discuss um, important contemporary events uh, from our own um, expertise as faculty, but also um, sharing that with the students and hearing about their own experiences. This is a huge moment. This is not just a huge moment in politics and history and social science. This is a huge moment in the world of numbers and statistical calculations too. What we perceive as the reality is something that it's not the reality for other people. We never have truth. Truth is a process. We're always discovering truth. But let's start about trying to talk honestly. How can we begin to engage in community much more collectively and productively? We need to be willing to say uncomfortable things to each other, especially in classrooms at Wellesley College where you know we should all be feeling safe to say these things to each other. And finally, we need to get to know people who are different from us in all kinds of ways. Not just people who look different from us or practice different religion, but even people who have different political beliefs. How can we take action? We need to send the message collectively that we will not stand for acts of hatred and bigotry on our campus.